Uh, hello there people, today I'm gonna tell you a build which you get, uh, with what you get high damage and yeah, but you are killable but not uh, that easily so under my primary I put hungry arrow, arrow with a uh, shinder I choose for shinder because uh, against bosses you don't really need uh, multiple damage and you don't uh, penetrate that much time uh, with the arrow so this one does the most damage on bosses or not on the boss fight you can switch uh, between spray of teeth but uh, if you are at the boss then you have to change it and then you lost your nephilim stack so you have to check out what you think is best for yourself but for myself I prefer this one under my secondary I use nether tentacles uh, yeah, I use nether tentacles because uh, it also gives life back, so with the damage I deal I also heal myself uh, for like uh, 200 uh, per hit, so that's pretty much. Then uh, under the first primary uh, in the action bar skills I put mortal and of marks of the death with mortal enemy. Uh, I choose mortal enemy because uh, it now choose less to uh, use elemental arrow if I shoot on a target with marks of death because it gives much more hatred back so you can spam it a lot longer. Under uh, the second one I put Keltrops uh, with jagged spikes to damage them and also slow them so if you're running away from some mobs just throw some down then they will be slowed and then you turn around fire some elemental arrows and they're death. So under the third one I put preparation with backup plan. Uh, yeah, preparation instantly restore all your discipline, like you know, but I choose for backup plan because um yeah backup plan has a change that the skill doesn't have a cooldown. So sometimes you can uh, trigger it double so you can spam smoke uh, smoke screen more often. And under the fourth one I put smoke screen with a uh, lingering frog to increase its duration. You can also choose for uh, displacement to gain some movement speed if you're more from for, uh, using it for uh, running away or trying to escape. Uh, the most important things are the passives. You have to do this combo to get uh, the as high DPS as I am have. I got 175k of DPS. Uh, I put under the first one. I put sharpshooter. That gives uh, free critical hit damage chance every one second, so it stacks to 100. And then the second one, I put steady aim. Uh, it's really important that you uh, stay more than 10 yards away from your enemies to, uh, yeah, get the effect from this one. It does 20% more damage uh, when you use this one. And under the third one, I put archery, and because I use uh, crossbows. I got 50% more critical hit damage, so I even deal more damage uh, because of this one. So now over to the item build. I will show you my items. Uh, I uh, stacking mostly for um, three things. That is dexterity, of course. But besides that, I choose for a uh, critical hit chance and for a uh, critical uh, uh, hit damage. Why? Uh, the critical hit uh, damage is logic because you. Yeah, you want so uh, the crits in the first one when stacked to 100. You want to be as high as possible. So that's why I choose the crit damage. But I choose the crit chance, what seems not as logic as the other one. But I choose that one because of when you shoot one arrow, it drops again. But when you have crit uh, chance, it will still be high. I think mine is around uh, 30%. So yeah. I still do a lot of the uh, of I still have a lot of crit chance without the sharpshooter buff, so that's why I choose for that one. Um, I also uh, have some movement speed on my boots. That's really important, especially as demon hunter. Uh, mostly, you will be killed in one shot or one hit. So with some movement speed, you have more chance to running away. So well, this was my um, yeah explanation about my build. I hope you people liked it and have. Uh, yeah, it helped you out by killing uh, some uh, mobs, some demons. So, um, yeah, please subscribe and like this video. And hope to see you again in Diablo.